Hi, my name is Derry Franz, and we are going today to change the face on a picture. Let's have two images. This is the first one, and this is the second one. And let us put this face here instead of your own face. Okay. Let's go to the new face and select the area using lasso tool. We would like to put into a new picture like that. Now, using Ctrl X, we're cutting this area and let's go to the previous picture and pressing holding Ctrl and Pressing V, Control V, we got new face here. Okay, let us zoom in a little bit to see everything better. Now let us transform our new face. Control T, do it smaller. Mm -hmm. And like move it. Now let us change a little bit opacity to see better what we have to do. Opacity to be not 100% but for example like that 50. Now we can see where are the old eyes, where are the new eyes and I can see that I have to rotate a little bit the new face. Yeah like this. Eyes to eyes, nose to nose, maybe bigger, and like that. Yeah, I think that's it. Now let's make our opacity 100% again. Now we can see it's still too big. Ctrl T is a little bit smaller. And let's do our opacity 100% again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now let's remove those areas. Eraser tool and very carefully. Yes. Here to be visible have to be visible, everything to be visible. Okay, now go to our layers. Firstly, let's unlock our background and with pressing Ctrl J, let's do copy of background layer and let's do the background layer actually invisible and let's work with its copy and layer with a new face. Okay, now go to copy of background layer and holding control click on layer 1 with a new face and we can see that new face is like selected. Now we have two faces in one picture, like old one and new one. So we have to remove the old face, go to layer with the old face, copy of background and now we have to do the area with the previous face to be a little bit smaller than the area with the new face. So 
go to select go to modify and go to contract then now we have to choose by how many pixels will do our area smaller uh, let it be something like not much something like seven pixels okay you see new selection is a little bit smaller just a little bit it has to be just a little bit smaller than the previous one and let us cut off the old face let's see edit clear there is no more old face only the new one okay let's choose now layer one with a new face and holding control and copy of background we have both layers selected then go to edit auto blend layers and blend pressing ok will blend our two layers ok layers are blended ctrl D removing selection mm, I think it's nice <laughs> yes and now let us merge all the visible layers into one new layer we can do that pressing shift ctrl E if you're working with Windows of shift command E if you're working with Mac so this is our new face and uh, it's done thank you for staying with me and hope to see you soon bye